Losses by the U.S. men's national team to Mexico and Costa Rica means Jurgen Klinsmann is squarely on the hot seat. SI senior soccer writer Grant Wall is here to discuss. Grant, Jurgen Klinsmann has a contract that runs through 2018, but clearly the negativity is surrounding him in a major way. Is there anything he can do to save his job at this point? Well, his boss, Sunil Gulati, the U.S. soccer president, might not decide to fire him. He also might decide to fire him. And I spoke briefly to Sunil Gulati after this horrible 4 0 loss to Costa Rica the other night. And he didn't exactly give Klinsman a vote of confidence. He said, we'll talk after this, we'll analyze the situation, and we'll make a decision. So what we have now that we haven't seen before is people, including me, calling publicly for Jurgen Klinsman to be fired. It's time to go after five years. Uh, that's coming from a lot of quarters in the media now. And that's something that I know Sunil Gulati pays attention to. And there's a few months off until the next set of qualifiers. The U.S. isn't out of the World Cup, but things have been trending in the wrong direction for a very long time. What do the players think? I think a lot of the players would like to see Jurgen Klinsmann gone. Uh, I think a lot of them are tuning him out at this point. I think it's always challenging when you have the same coach for a second World Cup cycle because some of the things that you used to do that players bought into, they aren't listening much anymore. And I think they're probably also the players tired of hearing Klinsmann single them out post-game for things that they did wrong in a game without taking much or any responsibility for himself. Now, Klinsman did say that a little bit after this Costa Rica loss. That was the first time I can remember him ever accepting any responsibility for a horrible performance. How much blame does he deserve for the U.S. team's struggles as a whole? Should he get the lion's share of that? I think people sometimes misunderstand things and think it's a binary situation where it's either Klinsman's fault or the player's fault. And that's not the case. Everyone deserves blame for what's happening right now. And this is historic. You know, losing to Mexico at home, followed by losing to Costa Rica on the road badly. They've never lost the U.S. the first two games of the hexagonal. Now they have. This is a really bad, historically bad stretch for U.S. soccer. So. Uh, Klinsman deserves a lot of the blame for that, and I do think the players realize that they do to an extent as well. But when you watch the way they played against Mexico, it was very clear that there was the players were unsure of themselves, in part because he had changed up the formation completely and hadn't tried that out in a less risky situation before. He did it against Mexico in a World Cup qualifier, and it really was a problem in that first half until they made the switch back, but they were already down by that time. And then after that loss saying we have to really show ourselves against Costa Rica and then you come out and lose 4 nothing, where players are quitting on the field, that tells you I think a little bit about how the players are feeling right now. Not exactly a ringing endorsement there. Um, U.S. soccer has a decision to make. If they decide to move on from Jurgen Klinsmann, who would be his replacement? The obvious choice to me is Bruce Arena, the former U.S. coach who led the U.S. to the World Cup quarterfinals in 2002, which is still the high watermark in the modern era, um, and then didn't do as well in the 2006 World Cup, but did well during qualifying. He knows what this process is like, knows how to deal with the pressures, knows how to pick his guys and pick a clear idea of what he wants his team's identity to be. And I feel right now this U.S. team does not have an identity anymore under Klinsman, that the U.S. always under Arena and Bob Bradley they didn't always play sexy soccer or anything like that. Sometimes they did. But you knew what they were about. They were about being a hard team to play against. They were about being better than the sum of their parts. And that got them some pretty good results over the years. And under Klinsman, that identity is not there right now. So I think if Arena came in, that that would certainly uh, come back. And I think the players would respond. I think Arena would get more out of the, current, the same current players than Klinsman's getting right now. Team's going through an identity crisis. They've lost two high-profile games. Are they in real danger of missing out on the 2018 World Cup completely? Here's the interesting thing. I don't think so. And that has everything to do with the comically easy format in CONCACAF in this hexagonal. You have six teams that are playing 10 games home and away all against each other. If you finish in the top four of the six, you will likely go to the World Cup. If you finish in the top three, you go automatically. The fourth place team will play in a playoff against an Asian team like Uzbekistan or Saudi Arabia or UAE. Very winnable. So if you look at the last cycle, Mexico won two out of 10 games and still qualified for that World Cup and did just fine. 
at that World Cup. So I'm not sounding any alarms as far as the U.S. missing the World Cup, but I also don't think that's a reason to keep Klinsman. Timetable. If Klinsman is going to be replaced, when will this happen? I would think you would have to have a decision made, if not before Thanksgiving, before December 1st, you would think, because you can't leave Klinsman hanging in limbo for too long when you have lots of media organizations, including us, calling for Klinsman to be fired. You have to announce either he's staying and here's why, or he's gone and here's a new coach who's going to now have some time until the next World Cup qualifiers in March. We will stay tuned. Grant Wall, thank you so much. My pleasure.